Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm a family nurse practitioner and one of the MP instructors here at Sarah Michelle MP Reviews. I spent a couple of years as an urgent care nurse practitioner and I am so excited to walk you through a practice question today on diabetes. We will be walking through this practice question step by step. And if you would like to dive deeper into this topic or others, you should check out our Sarah Michelle MP Review courses. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can continue to stay up to date on our latest videos. For our practice question today, we will focus on appropriate screening recommendations for diabetes. So let's go ahead and see our patient. A 30-year-old patient presents to the clinic to establish care. The patient has a history of gestational diabetes and has a family history of breast cancer and high cholesterol. Their BMI is 33. Which of the following components of the patient's history warrants diabetes mellitus screening? A, history of gestational diabetes. B, the patient's age. C, family history of breast cancer. Or D, family history of hyperlipidemia. The correct answer is option A. History of gestational diabetes is correct. According to the American Diabetes Association guidelines, we should start screening all patients for diabetes at age 35. Well, we see that this patient is only 30, so there are certain risk factors there that make us scream sooner, like the patient's history of gestational diabetes, as well as their BMI of greater than or equal to 25. Some other risk factors include metabolic syndrome, PCOS, hypertension, HIV, dyslipidemia, a first-degree relative with type 2 diabetes, long-term use of certain medications, including some second-generation antipsychotics, steroids, etc., and established cardiovascular disease. Keep in mind there are various guidelines and recommendations. Let's dive in a little more and talk about the basics of type 2 diabetes, as you will need to know this not only for board exams, but also in your future practice. Type 2 diabetes is the most common and accounts for about 90% of the cases of diabetes in adults. The rate of diabetes continues to rise worldwide, and in the year 2021 alone, approximately 15% of the adult population in the United States was living with type 2 diabetes, and 3.4% was undiagnosed. Following the recommended screening guidelines can make a big difference. It helps catch people at risk for type 2 diabetes early, giving us the chance to prevent or delay the disease and its complications. Now for a quick recap. What is diabetes? Well, type 2 diabetes is most commonly caused by a combination of insulin resistance and the progressive loss of insulin secretion from beta cells, which results in insulin deficiency and hyperglycemia. There are several classic symptoms that may present with hyperglycemia, including polydipsia, polyuria, weight loss, nocturia, and blurred vision. As you become a real deal MP, be sure to keep up with the recommended screening guidelines as these are continually updated. There are more diabetes related topics in our YouTube channel, but I hope this walkthrough question helps you grasp some of the basics of screening for diabetes. If you're interested in learning more about how to pass boards and other health topics, please check out our review courses. If you're looking for a wonderful free community of students prepping just like you, make sure to join our Facebook group. These will be linked in the description. Here are our references for this content. Remember, you are so close to becoming a Real Deal MP. Make sure to check out our other videos. We believe with the right preparation, you can totally pass your boards. We are all rooting for you here at Sarah Michelle MP Reviews.